Welcome to episode two of the San Francisco and San Jose in N scale. On a layout over 25 feet long, where does one begin? That was the question Roush Studios had to answer when he started construction on the layout. Not only is Al an expert modeler, but he's also a veteran with experience in Southern Pacific specific model railroad construction. He decided the yard ladder at the edge of Bayshore and South San Francisco would be the place to start. This little corner is an important spot on the layout with the steel facilities, programming track, ice deck, and the yard ladder built of number eight curved turnouts. It's such a joy seeing track and wood come together, but it's even more exciting when he sends you a video of the first engine test running the main line. You can contact Al and Joe online at RoushStudios.net and be sure to check out the rest of their layouts and videos on YouTube at Premier Model Layouts. Bayshore Yard was built by the Southern Pacific Railroad in the early 1900s on land that was originally a filled-in lagoon. Its flatter main line gave them a route into San Francisco that did not require helper engines. While Al was busy in Tennessee, in Texas, I needed some help. The building purchased for the layout had settled nearly six inches in less than one year. We doubled the amount of support underneath the building and replaced all the concrete pads with wider, thicker options. There were plenty of building and modeling chores for me to get done while I waited on the delivery of the layout. Even though San Francisco has changed tremendously since the Southern Pacific days, there was one thing I wanted to get done and I was running out of time. I wanted to ride the line on the original 1980s Caltrain equipment and most of it had already been retired and replaced with new electrical multiple units. Here is the engineer's view between Palo Alto and Menlo Park, crossing the San Francisco Creek Bridge. 